We all know how great the California wines are, and these days there are all wonderful sorts coming out of it. And they're going to the Lang Twins Winery out of Lodi, California. Is that Lodi or Lodi? One of the Lang Twins is here with our resident wine guru, Haley Hamilton. Haley? Hey, thanks, Susie. Hi, Randy. I'm Hello, here Dave. today with Randy Lang, mm -hmm. um, co-founder of Lang Twins Winery in Lodi. So thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us this morning. You've had kind of a whirlwind trip of, of Texas. You've been in town the last few days doing some dinners. You were down at the Austin Food and Wine Festival. Yep. And so I assume you know that we love a lot of good wine here in Texas. Well, we know that very well because we've spent a lot of time here in Texas. And we love coming to Texas and particularly this area and we sell a lot of wine here. So we appreciate everybody's support in the, and not only uh, Lang Twins wine, but Lodi wines as well. Well, and it's interesting, your family has been growing grapes for over a hundred years, but you and your brother, your twin, hence the name, yeah. um, <laughs> really kind of started your own winery just in 2006. So how did that kind of go about from being vineyard owners to winemakers? Well, you're correct, we've, we've been in the Lodi region since the uh, 1870s actually as farmers. Uh, didn't farm grapes a little bit before Prohibition, but Prohibition was that little hiccup that kind of had a major impact on us farmers who were growing grapes for a living. But after Prohibition, we started to grow uh, wine grapes in earnest. Uh, what happened with Brad and I is we started, and he, I am the better twin, just so everybody <laughs> understands that. But uh, we, uh, we started our business once we got married, and then you said, how did we get to the uh, point of making wine? We, we grew grapes, and we, and we sold those grapes to other, other wineries. But what really happened is we got married and we had five kids. <laughs> and so, you know, the five kids started to take an interest in the farm, and so as they started to come back, they're the ones that really made the decision to build the winery. Wonderful. And so I, I, uh, I stopped farming. I don't even know what a vineyard looks like uh, practically, but I stopped farming in 2006. My twin brother stayed over on the farm, and as he would say, I crossed over to the dark side well, and went to the winery. You moved over to the side that, that introduces us to all your wines. I yes. know that you guys um, have a big focus on sustainability mm -hmm. and, and really kind of making very clean wine. How did that come about? Well, you know, sustainability, and that's a, that's a big buzzword in, in right. the world today, but I mean, really, to be sustainable, I mean, we are generational. I'm, I'm fourth generation. My children are the fifth generation in the Lodi region. That's generational, and that's generational farming, and you can't be generational unless you are sustainable. So we've been sustainable since day one, before it was really a popular very, word. Very and I, yeah, and I'd, I'd rather use the word generational, because I think generational really explains what we're about. We want right. to leave the soil in better condition than we received it. I, I think that, that it's, it's so admirable and it's so important. So it's, it is. it's really, and I, you are in Lodi. I always knew Lodi was kind of known for their Zins, but you're making a little bit of everything. So you're mm -hmm. making um, Sauvignon Blanc from Lodi, mm -hmm. Cabs, you have uh, a handful of different wines within your portfolio. We have our Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. And the glass. So tell me kind of how Sauvignon Blanc got into red wine country. Oh yeah, I mean, actually we we farm quite a bit of Sauvignon Blanc. This is a, a special clone. It's a, it's a Miscay clone. Uh, it's very fresh, very nice. Um, you know, this is perfect in the springtime. This is like Dallas patio weather oh, yeah, kind yeah, of scallop, wine. Yeah, exactly. Fruit, fruit salads, things of that, that nature, crab cakes. But um, don't be afraid to chill it down. That's the best way. Remember that wine is a beverage, and that is the best thing to, to remember. I love that. If you're so inclined, throw a cube of ice in it as well. well. <laughs> Let's just get it nice and cold. I know yeah, they're like. Exactly. Um, and so, are there? A, do you have a particular favorite amongst everything you guys are making? You know, everybody asks that question. Is, is it like what, your children? You yeah, say? exactly. How do I? How do I pick one? But I mean, the reality is, what? How I answer that is, tell me what I'm going to eat, and I'll tell you which one my favorite wine is. Nice. Because I look at wine as being a food, mm -hmm. and it goes with food, and that's how I pair things together. So this is. So I don't have a favorite, but uh, I, I, I like them all. That's a of good course. thing, especially because you're making them all, and they are. They're beautiful wines. Your wines can be found at goody-goody stores throughout mm -hmm. um, throughout town as well as your website, which is um, langtwins.com, Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. And um, we are just so thrilled to have you. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you for bringing yes, I, well, thank you much. Gorgeous, gorgeous wines. Mm -hmm. And the ladies of the broadcast will be right back.